Matt Reynoldson joins us live inside of Chase Field right now. So Matt, that was a great score, nine to one. Do you think they're going to be able to pull it off once again tonight? Well, I'll certainly hope the momentum will carry forward, Angelique. And it's a great day to let the sunshine roll in here at the World Series. The roof is open at Chase Field for the first time since the National League Division Series, as we're just about two hours away from first pitch between the Diamondbacks and Rangers, where the D-backs will try and take a commanding 2-1 series lead at home. Now, in the 2001 World Series, the game, the roof was open for all four home games for the Diamondbacks. One, two, six, and seven. And today, we're officially open once again. Now, just a few moments ago, we saw the Diamondbacks at batting practice out here. And you can just sense the energy, sense it in the crowd that's early arriving to watch batting practice, and sense it in these guys ready for the Diamondbacks' first home World Series game in 22 seasons. And that momentum, of course, and that energy from the crowd is going to carry them through this day. I couldn't sleep for the obvious reasons. And... It was centered around the excitement of walking into the stadium today and being in front of these fans and saying that we're in game three of a World Series and we're trying to do our best to win a game for them, for us, this whole community, this whole state. And I'm very proud of that. Definitely, you know, excited and, and appreciative that of just the opportunity, right? The opportunity to play these games, um, to play them in Arizona in front of our fans um, and, and bring that baseball to Arizona. Ooh, Tori Lovello and Corbin Carroll. I got chills even in this desert heat and wearing a jacket, but it should be a fun one out here today. First pitch just after 5 p.m. Arizona time here at Chase Field, and we'll see if the Diamondbacks can indeed take that 2-1 series lead and put a stranglehold on this series and maybe take another step closing this thing out in Phoenix. For now, in Phoenix, Matt Reynoldson, News 4 Tucson Sports.